So think about your car and what happens when it's out of alignment. Our bodies, they're really not much different than that. Right, imbalance can cause all kinds of problems, including neck or lower back pain. And some people have to deal with both. They do, so how can you balance out your life? Welcome back, Dr. Drew Drummond of the Spinal Balance Health Center. Good to see you, doctor. Good to be here. Good, Good to be here. You know, a lot of people have issues. I was just telling you, I got this neck thing. You know, I got this, something going on right here. There's yeah. so many people that have maybe neck issues and lower back. Mm -hmm. And when you have both of those things at the same time, that can be a, a big sign of a problem. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, I think neck and low back pain are two of the more misunderstood problems that we have in our whole healthcare profession. Not many people know how to deal with them because the... The problems aren't necessarily in the neck or the low back. That's just where the pain ends up. So when people have neck and low back pain, they'll say to themselves, what's wrong with my neck? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or why do I have such a bad neck? Mm -hmm. And then they'll go to a healthcare professional that's looking at it in the same nature, just trying to figure out what's wrong with the neck and low back. But a lot of times, those two areas of the body are just responding to a completely different problem um, that's a completely natural thing to do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And you can't tell, like I was telling you, I've got something going on in my neck. You can't yeah. tell just by me describing. You actually have to go through, um, there's a method that you use to figure out the alignment issues. Yeah, the, um, if I'm able to help somebody, it's usually because the body is off its nice, balanced, symmetrical posture. Right. Because if you are, say you're going to carry a bag of groceries or a baby in one arm or you're going to walk on the side of a hill, you don't just fall over. Your body has these ways of adapting. Mm -hmm. And the neck and the low back are the two main areas that will adapt to something like that. So when people walk through their lives for decades adapting to the same problem, that's way different than carrying a bag of groceries to the car. So I'm specifically looking from that standpoint, trying to find this overall posture imbalance that's leading into those areas having to adapt. And the only way to do that, you're right, it's you have to look at the person, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about that posture. I mean, what yeah. can be done to restore a person's posture so their back and neck don't have to, you know, adapt to a body that isn't balanced? Yeah, the, you have to figure out why. The why behind the problem is the whole key. I had one gentleman who had had an arm cut off and it made one side obviously heavier than the other, so that was his issue. But that stuff's rare. Most of it's what's on the screen right now. At the top of the neck, you have a head and a neck that are straight up and down on the left-hand picture with the atlas at a 90-degree angle to those. And that allows the nervous system at the top of the neck to function properly for nerve impulses to pass from the brain out to the body and vice versa. But the right picture is what happens after accidents and injuries. And that misalignment can be from a, a car accident. If you wreck in your bike, it could be birth trauma, but that interferes with nerves. And some of those nerves control posture. Mm -hmm. And that's, what, if I had to pick one main reason why a person's out of balance, it's because of that. And it causes muscles then on one side of the back to tighten more than the other side. So instead of having the baby or the groceries in one hand or walking on uneven ground, you're just stuck in a posture like this one on the left hand side where one side of the back is tighter than the other rather than being completely balanced out. And that left posture puts stress typically in the neck and low back because you have mm -hmm. to adapt to that. You can't just fall over. But, but the neck and low back, they're not designed to adapt for 30 years to a problem. Right. Oh, that sounds painful thinking about that for it 30 is. years. <laughs> it is, well, but no, that's exactly what we have in our People whole. People adapt to it, though, yeah. right? Well, their, their they adapt to it, but they still feel the pain, and yeah. that's why 80% of the country has these neck and back problems, because nobody just takes a step back and says, wow, you are crooked. What can we do about that? Mm -hmm. Let's deal with the pain. I yeah. can't tell you how many, I've, how many people I've talked to that talk about this nerve running down the back of their leg, right? The sciatic, sciatic nerve, The yes. sciatic nerve, and that... And they're like, I've got this leg issue, but it's not really the leg that's causing the problem, it's the back. Yeah, there's, there's different layers to this problem. The primary issue when we help people is an atlas misalignment affecting the posture. The secondary issue is a stress that settles into the joints. But then there's this tertiary or third level problem where there are nerves that are branching out in between the vertebrae and the low back. Yeah. That and extend if, down Yeah, they the extend legs. down the legs that go to your bowel, your bladder, your reproductive system. So when the low back is imbalanced, not only does it cause low back pain, but then the patients will also say, well, yes, I get chronic diarrhea or constipation, reproductive issues, numbness and tingling in the legs, a sciatic. I had a boy the other day that came in who was a chronic bedwetter. He was in fifth grade and still wetting his bed. Mm -hmm. And these all end up being third level problems. Mm -hmm. Not always, but a good portion of the time. Yeah. So when someone comes into your office, how do you determine if they're a good candidate for care? Look at them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It takes... Yeah. It takes some training to do. It takes a pretty keen eye with some people. But, um, but first, we're looking at a leg length difference. That's what you can see me doing there. Um, I look at hips. I look at the shoulders. I look to see if there's a twist. If you look at the posture, you can literally, after you do it long enough, you can see what muscles are tighter mm -hmm. according to how the skeletal frame is becoming imbalanced. What are we looking at here? I mean, um, that that, that last one, I was looking at hips. It was a hip caliper to tell me exactly um, how far the hips are off this. 
After we determine a person's out of, out of alignment, we'll then take x-rays and uh, we've got a really nice digital system. There's three x-ray machines in the state that can take these, this um, series of films to this um, Only three, wow. specific, yeah. And that looks um, at the atlas right there. Huh? Yeah, and so we take three pictures and we mathematically calculate how a person's atlas is out of place. Um, and then it's, it's not the kind of a, a thrusting, more forceful adjustment that's just trying to get it moving better. We're literally trying to get it back in the right place for that person to get the nerves functioning better. So then once we adjust on that mathematical vector, then immediately the posture straightens up. I'll have mm -hmm. people with shoulders that are two inches off coming into the office in one adjustment, they just mm -hmm. even up once the muscles mm -hmm. start doing their job right. Right, now do people need to continually come back to get adjusted yeah. then? Yeah, it takes maintenance. The people have not been taught well about how to maintain their spine. Mm -hmm. The dentist did a great job of teaching people how to maintain their teeth so mm -hmm. they didn't yeah. fall off when they're 70. The chiropractic community has not done as good of a job of teaching people how to maintain their spine. So when I get people straightened up, there's, there's a weakness there that mm -hmm. just has to be yeah. addressed mm -hmm. through maintenance care. You're a chiropractor by trade, but it's a very specific kind of chiropractic. Yeah. Uh, it's called NUCA. Yeah. That's what you do. That's, that's what deals with the atlas. Yeah, it isn't the, most people think of chiropractic care as a, more of a thrusting kind of a adjustment where the, the joint will pop a little bit. Mm -hmm. This isn't that. This is a, a very, very specific form of chiropractic care, just adjusting the top of the neck. Yeah, and so you brought this in for our viewers today. The first 15 people who call Dr. Drew Drummond's office are gonna receive a consultation, the exam, and of course the x-rays, that's only for $50. If yeah. you know how much expensive mm -hmm. x-rays are these days, it's a fantastic yeah. deal. Yeah. Uh, just give them a call at the Spinal Balance Health Center. They are located off of South 142nd Street. Give them a call at 452-3400 or spinalbalancehc.com. Good information, hey. whether it's like yes. sciatica, digestive it issues, is. a lot of things stem. Yep. From the mm -hmm. back. Always yeah. learn a lot when you come in. Hey, <laughs> yeah. thanks, good to be here. I love <laughs> good it. to see you. <laughs>